Against Phoenix, you had 66 in the first half. Tonight, you had 69 in the first half. You're good. 38 in the second half. What are you seeing in the second half the last few um, weeks? We just, for whatever reason, we're hitting the wall in that third quarter. That's our new quarter for some reason. Um, and uh, we just, we, we, we look fatigued or we, we stop moving the ball. Um, just everything that was sharp in the first half kind of fades out in the second. So I just, I got to figure it out. I even tried to get into the rotation earlier. Uh, in the third just to see if I can get some fresh legs going, but that didn't even help. Yeah, Coach, you called the timeout. They cut it to 69-64. Uh, you called an early timeout. What yeah. was the point of emphasis in that timeout? I just That first two plays just looked so lackadaisical, and it just immediately triggered, you know, this is where we've been screwing up, and I just wanted to stop, uh, nip it right away. And, uh, you know, it didn't do much, but... You know, we still gave ourselves a chance. We were still scrapping at the end, but what, we, can't, we can't do that. I think we mentioned this the other day, but it happened again. Kevin, 19 points, uh, you know, 17 seconds into the second quarter, and right. then just stops. Wait, are you seeing something consistent that's Yeah, stopped? I just – I don't know yet. I can't put my thumb on it because he got some good looks. I thought – I think, you know, I felt like he got some open threes there, uh, some good shots, but we'll figure it out. And this, Maybe it's just him understanding it's a long game. And – uh you know, because I expect him to be a big-time scorer, it's, a, it's a, a real conditioning requirement to be a great scorer in this league. And um, that's just something he's going to learn as he gets stronger and in uh, more physical shape and, and understand, you know, how to, how to adapt versus scouting reports and adjustments during the game and things like that. Yeah, David, yeah, Trey, second straight DNP. I mean, I know he was played poorly. He was, came I, was, I, was, I was spinning to throw him in the game tonight, um, but I just wanted to see if Frank could come in and impact that defense one more time because they got it going pretty well there. Uh, the young kid got it going for them young. Uh, so I tried to go back with Frank just to see if we can slow him down a little bit. But, yes, Trey is in the holster, and, you know, hindsight, I probably should have went with him. But... That don't make no difference now. Did you, any consideration with Mario as well there? Always, you? always. You know, that's the, the the tough part is I got like twelve guys that I can that's hit or miss with it. You know, and uh, or do you stay with the guy, get a guy, you know, keep giving a guy a shot, or do you go deeper into the well? So that's always the dilemma I'm uh, I'm facing in that spot. But I, all, every one of those guys, because all of them have shown flashes. Um, that, you know, I can go to that sometimes at any point, but it's a tough call <laughs> sometimes, you know, so because it's 12 different guys. Coach, in that fourth quarter, what was your assessment of the shot selection? Terrible. We got to do better. Simple as that. We, we took some ill-advised shots. Um, you know, we didn't want to work our offense to get great shots, um, you know, and that's, that's just something we got to get better at. I know that you know you guys have talked about incremental improvements, but do you have concerns about how you know loss after loss affects those guys in there? Always, always think about that. But I just really feel like we got a group that can handle this right now. Um, you know, they just have the right approach to the season, to you know how to attack losing, how to come back to work every day. Um, you know, I think we'll be I'll, we'll bounce right back and get right back into the gym and get some good work done. You had said Alonzo and Mitchell were getting reevaluated tonight. Is there any chance for Christmas? For the I can use a gift. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what, Mark? I'm not uh, actually, I haven't gotten any information on that yet um, before I left the training room, so I can't give you that right now. But I'd sure like it. Coach, going back to Franklin, the defense, was tonight an example or? In an incident or issue where he was penalized somewhat for the aggressive defense in some of those calls? He got a lot of calls. Yeah, it was frustrating for him. It was a frustrating night for him. Um, you know, but what you gonna do? That's the game.